weather with meteorologist Beth Finello. We're starting off this morning with a couple of clouds here in Springfield, and it's chilly. Temperatures are sitting in the 50s, 54 right now here in Springfield. Dew points in the upper 40s, very dry air mass. I don't think these clouds are going to stick around for the rest of the day. I think we'll get to see a little bit more sunshine by this afternoon. Temperatures sitting at 52 in Branson, 50 in Mountain Grove, 53 in Rolla, and 54 here in Springfield. Again, dew points in the upper 40s and lower 50s. A very comfortable, very dry air mass in place, and we're going to keep the dry air mass in place at least for today. Notice we are well into the comfy range on the muggy meter and I hope you get the chance to go out and enjoy it today because tomorrow things are going to start to look a little bit sticky. The cold front that came through yesterday and pushed all of that muggy air to our south now well off to our south and east keeping that warm and muggy air really confined to the southeastern counties and parts of Georgia and Alabama and that's where it will stay for today. We've got an area of high pressure sitting right over us, bringing us some cooler air today with winds out of the north. That will slowly move east through the day, but that won't stop us from having a lot of sunshine. Temperatures in the upper 70s, warm and comfortable through the afternoon. Now, what's going to happen is this high pressure will sit over us through at least the rest of the morning. Through the day, it will slowly progress eastward, and we'll start to have winds shift out of the south. That will help fuel some of those storms through the day tomorrow because it's going to bring in some warm and moist air out of the Gulf of Mexico that we haven't seen over the past couple of days. That storm system will come through through the day on Wednesday. What will happen is a cold front will come in and bring in a couple rounds of showers and storms through the day tomorrow. Good news is that after tomorrow we'll have a more mild air mass come back into the Ozarks for the day on Thursday. With these showers and storms for Wednesday, we could have a couple of them become strong to severe. Main threats being hail up to the size of a quarter and maybe damaging winds up to 60 miles an hour. So let's time all of this out for you. Today, lots of sunshine, temperatures in the upper 70s, couple lower 80s possible. Through the overnight, we'll have increasing clouds from northwest to southeast. We'll start to see some of those showers develop after about 1, 2 o'clock in our northwestern counties. That first round of showers will make it here by about sunrise. So as you're heading out the door tomorrow, be sure to grab your umbrella and your rain jacket and keep it handy for the afternoon because that's when we'll see another round of showers and storms develop a little more widespread. And I think some of these storms could be strong to severe through the afternoon. I'm not expecting widespread severe weather though, so maybe just a couple of them becoming strong to severe. And then by midnight, they're out of here, and that's when that colder, cooler, and more mild air mass will come in for the day on Thursday. Again, large hail up to a quarter size, damaging winds up to 60 miles an hour are the main threats for any strong to severe storms through the day on Wednesday. And we're not done with the showers yet. Thursday will be quiet. Friday will be more of our transition day, and that's when we'll have Gulf moisture make its way back into the Ozarks. We'll have a front and the jet stream, or that path of storminess, sit over the Ozark and act as a magnet for showers that will develop through the weekend. We'll have a very unsettled, wet weekend ahead. It's a little too early to determine modes of severe weather, but with several rounds of showers and storms likely through the weekend and into the beginning of next week, we could have some flash flooding concerns with already saturated soils from the past couple of weeks with several <laughs> inches of rainfall. Today, upper 70s, another great day. Overnight tonight, temperatures in the upper 50s with increasing clouds. Tomorrow, more 70 degree chances with some showers through the day. And then we'll have those rain chances again return for what looks like the later part of Friday and into the beginning of next week and especially through this weekend. Of course, we don't know again modes of severe weather just yet, but something to stay aware on through the week. We'll take a look at that. We'll enjoy some 70s in the meantime. And sunshine today. Right? Yeah. We will.